Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm just honored to be in front of you. That's all. That song is from Black Country Communion. That's the first song I wrote for number one album. Uh, just so you know, we are making record number four in January. Yes, it's uh, it's happening uh, because we're friends and we're brothers, and it's time I think uh, to make another record. And uh, Joe and I are going to be working in a couple of weeks, all week long, and we're going to give, 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 give. We don't want to take it. We want to give, give, give it, baby. David. Uh, I know you do, brother. I, I can feel that you're a vile guy. Because I'm a vile girl. I mean a guy. Myself. I love you, man. You know I'm, we, we spoke this afternoon, right? God bless you. Wait a minute, Glenn Hughes is speaking American, goddamn it. Now what's all this whole goddamn whole shit up here, goddamn it. So, uh, let's talk about my buddy David Coverdale for a second. Just a little story you might not know. I'm only telling people on this tour. When David joined Deep Purple, shortly after I joined, he came to my mother's house where I was living at the time. I was only 20. 20 year old men should live with their parents. <laughs> so we went up north, right at the top of England, to, to, his, to his flat. His flat. And we wrote this next song for the album called Burn, but let's just say that one of the guys in Deep Purple didn't like this song, so we didn't record it on Burn, we recorded it on Come Taste, the band, with Tommy Bowling. I wrote this with David Coverdale in about, it took an hour to write this song, it was really sweet, because this is David's first song he ever wrote. Uh, love you David, you are in, indeed my, my true brother. You know, Chicago, again I say to you, thanks so much for coming tonight. It means the whole world to me. And we'll see you next year. Can you fucking feel it? Come on!